Yeah, we've been gone for a grill. I appreciate y'all niggas for 1k subs, though. That's that's fucking crazy. 1,000 of y'all niggas fuck with me. I'm already asking here, like, you know, 1,000 subscribers for this, you know, this interesting video to start. We did it, y'all. 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 of you niggas. Fuck with me. 1,000. Oh my god, nigga. I can't scream right now because it's 3 a.m. in the morning, but 1K of y'all niggas, bro. I, I love y'all. 1K. I keep seeing this girl on my For You page, this random ass girl. I don't know who she is. Keeps getting exposed to her being racist, photoshopping her photos and her body and shit. I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Like, hey, might as well do a video on her because no one else is doing it. So, <laughs> love the flex. It's a TikTok woman with 16,000 followers. Before she got mass support and then banned, she had like 1.4 million. 1. Point fucking 4 million. But she started posting in August. This is where her account was like originally created and she started posting. And she developed a fucking cult audience, you know, just a cult fan base off making these TikToks right here. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United she basically ended up developing a simp army or cult army at her age. Her age is always the place, so like let's get into that, her age right now. Her age is unknown, but it was assumed that she was above the age during the start of her TikTok career. But people have been pointing out and providing evidence that she's like 15 years old. What the fuck? I'm not saying that she's 15. But me personally, I'm gonna assume that she's 17 because Lily says in her TikTok about it, she's fucking 17. People also called her out for over sexualizing herself because she's a minor guy. Remember that. This is a great time to switch to like the controversies behind her, you know what I mean? A whole bunch of crazy stuff. So she had her public likes open. I don't know why would you have your public likes open. Niggas being weird started going through her public likes, I guess. You know, they, they found a, a video just filled with like racial slurs, I guess. That, that's what I'm assuming. And she liked the post. And I'm going to show the video right now. I, like, y'all decide if it's bad or not. Okay, I think my last video was a little insensitive. So I'm sorry for liking the videos. Um, I didn't think they were like coming out as me being racist for liking them. The guy was talking about having black mutuals and like it was that audio of like, this is a white only party. I just thought it was funny. I apologize if that came out with racist intentions. I didn't mean for that at all. And I'm really sorry for the girls getting harassed on this app and people being racist and like body shaming them for no reason. If you follow me and you're being blatantly racist and body shaming these girls, you are honestly sick. You need to do something with your life. So. Me personally, I can understand that it's wrong, but like, is, that, is it that big of a deal? Not really. Who gives a fuck? Why is she have her public likes open? That's just a dumb thing to do. Like, never do that. It's a quick rundown who Love the Flex is. Like, there's some more shit on her and stuff, but like, it's just about her like morphing her body using Photoshop. But who the fuck doesn't do that? So y'all make sure you like and subscribe, you know. I appreciate y'all niggas for 1K. I love y'all. 1K special coming soon, you know. Like, it's gonna be crazy. I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Peace.